boss. I need to tell you something. What? I saw Maria picking up the rest of the food in the kitchen. I don't believe. I saw it with my own eyes. She knows it's forbidden to do that here. I'll sort this out now. Poor Maria. Today will be her last day here. Mary's story as this, is taking the rest of the food to her house. Boss. Sorry, please. But there is always food. I need to feed my son. Maria, you know this is forbidden. And another. It is unhygienic. I'm not going to accept that in my house. I'm going to throw it in the trash. I'm going to throw it in the trash. I'm sorry, please. It's not going to stay that way. Maria, I have to talk to my husband to decide what we're going to do. That's wrong. No, I need the job. Had he thought of that before he did something wrong? What is more? It's not the first time I've seen you do this. Well, it's decided. I'll talk to Otavio about it. I should have thought better. Why did you act badly to me? You know I need this job. I should have thought better. Before doing anything wrong. Now. Grab more. Drink for me. Because now I'm going to be the only maid in this house. Now, even though you're going to have to need a lot more. Oh my god. How am I going to feed my children? Octavius, you won't believe it. Maria is taking leftover food home. Are you sure what you're talking about? Love, yes, Bibi told it all. But this has been forbidden here at home forever. We'll have to decide, together, what to do with her. I always did everything the bosses told me to. I've never done anything hidden, no. Do me a favor, Bibi. Ask Maria to wait with you in the room that is already there talking. Can you leave little boss? I'll do it right now. My love. We have to make a decision. Mary, Mary, Mary. My wife just said that you've been taking leftover food home, is that true? Yes boss, I can't deny. But why are you doing this? Give me an explainer? As I said to the mistress. My children, they need food. And the food. It is in good condition. I take them home to feed my children. But that's no justification, Mary. You know it's always been forbidden here at home. Your kids don't have anyone to stay with, no one to make lunch for them, something like that. No, boss, they are alone. I can't afford it. My wife and I made the decision. You won't take food home anymore. It's okay, boss. Don't worry, Maria, you're going to get another job. We're not going to send you away, Mary, but on one condition. Which, I'll do anything. Anything. Starting today, you will not take leftovers. For your children. You will get a worthy dish for them. And it will take them every day. Boss. I'm not getting it. My wife, we decide that every time we finish dinner. The food you made the most. We want you. Prepare a dish. Worthy for each of them. And take it. Every day. Thank you, boss. Thank you very much. And there's more. Maria. We decided to give you a raise. To help you hire someone to take care of your children. While you work for us. We know. That you like this job very much, Maria. We know how much you dedicate yourself. So? 
I want you to take that and buy some things for your home to have at least one decent food for your children. Congratulations on the raise, Maria. But what about me boss, will I also get a raise? As for you, Bibi, you're not going to continue on the same salary if you want to keep working here. And another thing, you'll take care of it. Our dogs from here in the house. For you to begin to learn to value your work, I want you to start respecting Mary from today. Maria is a family mother. She deserves all the respect. There's one more thing for both of them now it is. I don't want you to call me the boss or the boss anymore. My name is Otavio, so you call me Octavius, the K? And me. You can call me. Of Mrs. Manuela. So boss. Meant. Mr. Octavius. If you give me leave, I'll go about my business. You, Mary, can go back to your work. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Mrs. Manuela.